Being in school, being in the hallways, like you come to LA all the time. You oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, this year it was like that. But all the other years it wasn't. But this year it was because we came back from like quarantine and like I'm like upper than I was before. Mm -hmm. So they're like, oh shit. I know there's like a lot of people like changed and random niggas was like walking up to me in school I didn't know. At one time, um, I was walking with this girl and some like 10th grader walked up to me and he was like begging for a picture. Mm -hmm. And that was like crazy. Cause I don't even think I'm that like big, but like he was like asking for a picture and he made me look fine cause I was walking with a girl. That's the best when <laughs> no funny shit, man. <laughs> Yo, 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 it's your boy Hakeem and you are watching Our Generation Music. I know that intro came off completely different. It's because this nigga Wes, SGP Wes is with me today and he's been giving me fucking jokes since he got here. My boy, yeah. what's up, man? What's good? How are you doing today? I'm good. <laughs> Hey, this is low-key one of the funniest little niggas I don't bet, bro. You funny as hell. Do people tell you that a lot? I mean, yeah, but like, I brought burger. <laughs> 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 bro, what possessed you to bring all these fucking burgers? Wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten burgers. You knew there was going to be, how many of us are there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. What, 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 why 10 burgers and why burgers, man? Bro, it's just like, I don't even know where like burgers came from. <laughs> <laughs> bro, <laughs> bro, it's just like, I just started saying it on like, mm -hmm. no, like, I just started saying it on like TikTok one day, but I wasn't like, I just said it once and then I just kept saying it. Wes, man. Yeah. We gotta we gotta get into this name first and foremost. SGP West. I, I I don't know what it stands for. I wanna know what it stands for. And I think the world wants to know what SGP West stands for. What does it stand for? <laughs> bro, I don't know. Like, bro, it was just like, all right. I had like two names before. Like before my name was West Funeral. Okay. And then it was like West XO. Mm-hmm. But then, like, I wanted three letters in front of my name, and I wanted it to, like, look cool. I didn't really think about, like, what I wanted it to mean at the time. Okay. So, like... Those was the coolest looking... Those were the coolest looking letters that go together. I think it, it definitely looks cool and everything. I'm not going to lie. Um, so, Wes is, like, a play on your real name? Yeah. What's your real Wesley. name? Huh? Wes. Wesley? Yeah. Like, Wesley Snipes? Yeah. Is that who you're named after? I don't know. Probably not. You never asked yeah. your parents that? <laughs> nah. I, I was named after a basketball player, Hakeem Olajuwon. That's why I asked. You know what I'm saying? 10th grade is when I started making music, so I stopped. Yeah. 10th grade or your junior year? Uh, it was like the, it was like the summer going to junior year. Okay. Uh, people would like tell me. Mm -hmm. that I look like a rapper and I didn't know what that meant. Okay. So I'd be like, okay, okay. But then like, um, this girl, like, I really liked her, mm -hmm. but like, she didn't like me. So I wanted to do anything to like impress her. So like, make her be like, oh shit. Okay. Like, so like, bro, hold on. <laughs> 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 all right, all right, all right. So then, I started making music, but like I did it as a joke at first, and it was like just to just get the girl. Fun. Yeah, just to, that was my main goal, like of doing. Did it. you make like a love song about her, or you dropped nah. her name in there? What was the it? It wasn't about? even. It wasn't anything about her. I would like I just like I was just making music. Okay. It wasn't even like nothing about her, but like then like I started like like started to enjoy it. Mm -hmm. Like I thought it was like fun. But like I recorded on Audacity, uh huh. But I only did that because I thought FL was too like difficult, and mm -hmm. I didn't even think I cared about music that much. I was like, I'm only doing this for fun. Okay. But then like I was like, oh, I like really like doing this, so I should like 
move to like something like better. Yeah. So I downloaded FL and I learned it, but that like FL was the first time I had like I had auto tune. Okay. So like I liked how it sounded on my voice. And but like a lot of the songs I started like making at the time, I thought like they were like so good cuz like it was my first time hearing my voice with auto tune. Ooh. But then like um fuck fuck fuck. Hold on. <laughs> oh my god hey so you're making music you know because you want to impress a girl it led to you now you know having a music career but i do want to know did you end up getting that girl uh like yeah yeah <laughs> yeah that's yeah. good man that's good man i'm happy for you man so you spoke on the early music right you know you thought the music was good because, you know, you using auto tune and everything. Um, your first project was Before S. Was that some of those music that you thought was super good because you just got auto tune or what? No, nah, that's when I actually started to get like good at music. OK. And that's when I like actually like was like, oh, like this sounds good. Like before I would say my shit sounded good, but I wouldn't really like feel like like this when I was like, oh, this actually sounds good. I only had like a thousand, two thousand followers. But like I was dropping and I was like buying repos so other people could hear it. Oh, okay, bet. So you invested in your career early. You understood that. Yeah, bro. I probably spent like real. I'm not lying. I probably spent like two thousand dollars on repos. I felt like it helped, but it only got to a limit. Like it only like went so far, and I mm -hmm. wanted to like go farther. Yeah. Cause like you're buying repos and it works, but like somebody has to really like your music to like find you through a repost and be like, oh, like. And follow you and, yeah, you know, and wanna issue. like look out for your music and everything. Yeah. Like I, bro, during that whole time I was buying reposts, like I was only gaining on SoundCloud, not Instagram. So I was uh, like. But did you put your Instagram in the bio and everything yeah, too? Yeah. Okay. But I just wasn't gaining on Instagram. It's a very important thing, I think though, like yeah, if you yeah. really dump the right amount of money into that song, like yo, your life could really fucking change overnight, you know? Your next project, Iodine, you teamed up with, you know, somebody that's, you know, killing it in the underground, Can Can. He was on the uh, the interlude, Pound and yeah, Pound. Yeah, but I bought that. You bought the feature? Yeah. Oh, that's fire though. It's crazy. Nah, no, I don't like, back then I thought it would like help, but like, like buying features, like I don't think you should be buying a feature. I mean, you're- Unless like, unless like, you know, oh, if I'm like really this good enough to like mm -hmm. buy the feature and make the song. How much was that feature back then? It was like $70. Nigga, that's a, yeah, that's, that's fire. So you uh, work with producers like Zay Skills, uh, Jabberwockies, Glory T, Majins, and you know, especially the standout song to me, um, I'm God, numerous times, right? Mm -hmm. How'd you first link up with all those guys, producer wise, to get your sound, you know, where you wanted to be. Like, how did I get my sound where I wanted it to be? Yeah, just linking up with all those producers oh, to help uh, get you know, your sound where you wanted to be. I think out of all of them you just said, the first one I was like working with was like Zay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but I really don't remember how like me and him linked up. I think we just like DM each other and he just like sent like beats and shit. Yeah, but Majin's, uh, <coughs> I met him in Discord. Okay. Yeah. yeah. That's fire. Yo, it's it's crazy to see like now like you know, SoundCloud was the app where obviously you guys still all use SoundCloud, but SoundCloud was the app where like, you know, artists that community was built off that, but like Discord built a whole new community and now uh, you guys, you know, took it reverted to SoundCloud and created this whole thing like it, it's really crazy to see um, you know, you know, where you guys took it from Discord and everything like um, who were like the first people you met on Discord? Um, first people I met. Like that, you know, like that built a name up for them or whatever. Like who were the first people? Oh, I, I was in this collective with people. Yeah. And they collective? used Discord. It was called something, but I, I don't want to say it. You don't want to say it? I don't want to say it. <laughs> I don't want to say it. 
He said, fuck that shit. Um, how did you um, meet Majins? Because Majins, you know, is the, the GOAT for the new artists coming up in the underground, like producer, yeah. young producer. It was around right the there. time when like Slump was blowing up off like mm -hmm. anti-social and shit. Cause like, I started like talking to PCAJ first and then he like low key introduced me to all of them. Mm -hmm. But like, I knew like Slump before PCAJ. Okay. So, How did you and Slump's link up? Slump's is here right now, chilling, kicking in the back, waiting for his burger. <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking, that nigga, we not in that shit. How did you link up with Slump Sixes? Um, he posted this song called Up It. Mm -hmm. um, and I followed him. And he said, like, thank you, but he didn't follow me back to, like, the next day. Yeah. So, like, during that day, I was like, damn, he don't fuck with me type shit. I was like, damn. <laughs> <laughs> I like Hit the ah, nigga! What the fuck, man? Twin, <laughs> why you like, do me like that, twin? I was like, bro. hit the damn twin! Why you do me like that? Yeah, but then like he followed me back, and then like we just started like making songs. And shit. That's fire. And then also, you know, Bino, you guys got songs together, perfect, and you know, also you guys are a bunch of guys. Chula also on Buckhead. A bunch of you guys are featured on that song. How did you and Bino meet? Bino is also here. Once again, another person waiting for their burger. <laughs> yeah. I got to include the burgers because I don't know why the fuck they're here. Bro, because, <laughs> bro, I'm the Burger King. Okay, man. How did you meet with Bino? <laughs> All right. Um, I, I remember. Okay. I followed for followed him. What's a follow? Oh, <laughs> that's some nostalgic shit right there. <laughs> Yeah, I followed for followed him, mm -hmm. but then I unfollowed him, and then I went to his page. I was like, "Oh, he's actually hard," so I followed him again. Okay. And then like, he followed me back, but then he unfollowed me like the next day. Damn. I was like, "The fuck, like, bro, I was like, bro, it was good." Nah, but I don't, like. And I think we just like kept following and following each other. This mm -hmm. bro, this happened for months, bro. Damn. We're, like just following and unfollowing each other. I was playing tag and war <laughs> shit or tag, nigga. No. Nah. Bro, but I always see you guys all together. So like what is what is this like your guys' relationship like every day? Like what the fuck do you guys do besides making music? Like what are you guys doing? That's pretty much all we do. You just make music all day? Yeah. Like we literally been to the studio sessions like three days in a row or like two or three days in a row. And Stand it's, there like from like three to like two a.m. Oh, okay. Just record. Can we possibly ever see like a collab project from y'all three? Could that be something like that happen? Yeah. That'd be hard. Yeah, that'd How be much hard. songs you guys think you guys have all together collectively? Unreleased all together. Yeah. Like together. On yeah, a song? you three. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> that means it's a fucking lot. Um, you also work with the collective, you know, um, No Soap. Yeah. We shot the video surrounded and AMG. Yeah. You know, what's it like working with those guys? And, you know, what, you know, what do they bring out of you creatively and everything? It's fun because, like, I, like, it don't even seem like I'm working with somebody. It feels like I'm just, like, with my friends. Because, mm -hmm. like, like, I started getting cool with them before they even shot, like, videos for me. Okay. Yeah. So, like, every time we shoot a video, it's, like, funny as fuck. It's just, like. It's just a bunch of fun shit. Shout out my man, Elon. Yo. Elon Bia. Elon Bia, man. Okay, another thing, right, is you're unsigned. Majority of your friends and your collective is unsigned. Why haven't you signed yet? What, what, what's your situation? What are you thinking about? Like, why aren't you doing it? <laughs> why, what do you want to do? You know? Um... <laughs> I'm just like waiting for the right time, mm -hmm. right deal, right terms. And like, I just want a bag, like a big bag. You want a big bag? Yeah. Big bag ski. Okay, my boy. Yeah, what, have you, what have you learned from watching your friends that sign? Like, what have you learned, just picked up from them, like whether it's good or bad? Um, I learned that it could be hard to deal with like labels sometimes. Mm -hmm. And I learned like a lot of shit starts to get slow when you sign. You can't just like 
do what you want and do what you want whenever like a lot of people think like it's like controlling it's not like controlling to me but it's just like that's just how it works like you can't just do what you want when you want now is there any like uh dream like features or collaborations for you that you can you know see in in the future uh i want to shoot a video with lone wolf lone wolf I, bro, like when I started making music, I would always watch um, the Lucky music videos he did. Mm hmm. Yeah. And I just like his way of like, I just like the way he like does his video. That's fire. I love Lone Wolf, bro. Him and Lucky together is crazy. We just did the interview and just, you know, his, his, his like vision and just like the, the, this, the vibe and the aesthetic he gave to Lucky is just like, it's just perfect, man. It went hand to hand. Yeah. Hand in hand. You know, you've been working fucking crazy, though, this year. I mean, you dropped like three projects. Luna, Celestial, the newest one, Hiatus. Mm -hmm. What is your work ethic like? Like, why drop three fucking projects the span of like one year? Like, usually niggas not doing that. Oh, it's mainly because, like, I just be recording. Like, I record a lot. Mm hmm Like... And I know once I start one song, I won't be able to like stop because I'm gonna keep going. I think recording is fun. Like at times it gets like kind of like not boring, but like tiring. But like most times it's like fun. Like to me, I find it like really fun. Yeah. Like just recording. So how many songs do you think you're recording in like a day? Yesterday I made like six. Six in a day? Yeah. But it was like, low key, bro. I'm not capping. It was probably in like five hours. Damn. Yeah, cause like, it was at night and they were sleeping, but I was like screaming. You were screaming? You was recording? Yeah. That's fine. What are you usually looking for? Like when you're about to get a pack from like a producer, what are you usually looking for, you know, to get on something like what draws your attention to get on a beat like what got to stand out for you um like recently i've been getting like really like tired of the beats i get in my email because mm -hmm. they're kind of the same shit like shit i've already put out and like they're damn near the same type of beat it's like it gets like annoying sometimes because like do you have an idea in your head of like what you're looking for yeah but it's like one of those things you cannot explain like Damn. somebody has to have the same vision as you to know what you're talking about maybe that maybe that'd be good for you to maybe start learning how to produce or something you yeah like i'd be out. thinking about that but like i really don't want to produce <laughs> so like or you might need to get sit down with a producer and try your best to you know you know what i will do though uh like I see some people, they don't even like do anything, but they tell like the person what to do. Yeah. It's, so it's basically like yeah. their type, like it's like their beat too. Yeah, you're co-producing, you're really, you know. Yeah. The more you grow in your career, I feel like usually that's what happens with, you know, artists and everything where they start sitting down and be like, yo, take this out, add this, I had this in mind, let's cook from scratch. I think it'd be really good if you feel frustrated that you're getting the same things in your DM, like to find someone you can do, you know, do that with. But, yeah. Your new project, Hiatus, Yeah, you did have Majin's, Glory T, and even Rio, the GOAT, <laughs> on there. Um, you know, what was it like recording your newest project? And what have you learned differently, you know, from the last two? Um, on that song, I made like three of those in a day. And the other two in like a day, too. Yeah, like, I have like hella unreleased, so... Most of the time when I drop, the songs are like probably like not old, but they're not like mm -hmm. new or fresh. Like they're like they've been sitting there for a while. A minute. How do you go about choosing what you're going to put out? Uh, at Ben's crib, he has a whiteboard. And on the whiteboard, we write all of my unreleased down and we cross out the ones like we say which ones we're going to give to like other pages. Like the oh, wave guides and yeah, stuff like that. Yeah, like that. Yeah, yeah. It's crazy how like shout out wave guide like 
how crucial and important their page is, you know, to really like no, that page help an artist really blow up and grow, you know, their career. Is there like a, a song on there, like your favorite song you let go on the Wave Guide page? <laughs> um, I've only like really gave him like one song to drop, mm -hmm. but like he does upload all my other songs. Okay. So it's like, there's not really like any I can say. Yeah. What what's what's your favorite song off um, your newest project, Hiatus? And why self. is it even called Hiatus? And these self? Yeah. Why is that? It sounds cool. It sounds cool. Oh fuck. Okay, bet. Hiatus. What? Just just you yeah. actually were on a hiatus because he really wasn't because nigga you dropped like two other products before. Nah, I was for like a week or two though. <laughs> I Dude, was that's though. A, that's a vacation. <laughs> no, I, nah, I was for like a week or two though. Like I wasn't posting. You just posted? I wasn't posting enough. Yeah, man. It's crazy though. Like going away a, a week from the gram, like people will really get concerned. They'll be like, bro, where you been at, twin? Nah, like, that's how it was. Like, bro, what's up with you? You good, twin? <laughs> like, nah, nigga, I just don't want to post. <laughs> and like as like an artist, I feel like it's still like way too long to not post anything. Yeah. What, what's up with so luna celestial and hiatus what do these all have in common because these are very like super uh abstract names for projects so luna a crescent moon mm -hmm. and i really like crescent moons and like i fuck with like space and like astral shit so i named it celestial for that one mm -hmm. and i felt like luna and celestial were kind of like not the same thing but they're in the same like yeah and then I kind of just changed it up with hiatus. Okay, bet. Yeah. That's fine. What, what, do you have a name for the next one? Uh, probably, I don't know. I'd be thinking of names. I'd just be thinking of random shit I want to call shit. Okay, bet. What's up with this, um, this bear thing you got going on? Like, you really look like a bear. Um, it's like my, like, hoodie thing. What brand is this? I actually cannot like give that out. Oh. It's me and Slump's thing. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> That's your heart. That's your nah. heart as hell. You look like, like a young teddy bear, man. Nah, facts. <laughs> I fucked with it. <laughs> Twitter looks like a young teddy bear, man. Well, all right. Um, your biggest song, um, you know, Surrounded. Take us back to recording that. You know, what was the, what, how did that song come about? Uh, I remember I made that song in like 20 minutes. You did? Because it was like, it was only like the hook and then like a verse and then a hook. Because like I was going to send it to like Slump. So I knew that it wasn't going to take long for me to do it. It was just like literally my, like my main vocals and like my ad libs. I didn't do anything else. Yeah, so it was quick. And then I sent it to him. And then he didn't, he bro, it would have been dropped. But he never told me he sent it to me on Discord. And it just sat there, like, for 20 days. What the fuck? Like, it just sat there, and I didn't know it was done. You still actively use Discord? Not like that, but I do pop up in there sometimes. And I have my Discord server, so, like, I be in there a lot. What, it, what goes on in your Discord server? Is it just, like, people trying to, like, give you beats? Or do they just request, like, snippets? Like, what's, what is your Discord uh, server? I do like? post snippets in there. Okay. Like I post snippets in there like frequently, mm -hmm. and a lot of people spam burgers. <laughs> I don't know why, but they do it. Yeah, ma'am. I feel like you need to like take uh the <laughs> sauce is over there laughing. Yeah. I feel like you need to take uh, these burgers to the next level, and for your shows, you need to like throw burgers at your. Fans. I'm down, bro. At the autumn shop, um, I performed that. Uh, people in the crowd were saying burger. That's crazy, bro. It's, yeah, that was just. You crazy. need burger merch, and you need to throw burgers at your fans. <laughs> I'm totally I don't know about that. the merch, but I'm down to throw it at. Um, what do you got? Uh, you know, we got Box Fest coming up. What next? In like two weeks? You excited? You you, you got a, you know, you just dropped a new project. You about to go to perform that? What are you looking forward to perform? <laughs> I be mostly performing on release shit. I don't know why. <laughs> why? But. Why do you do that to your fans? That's like the biggest tease in the world. Like, know. nigga, drop this. I don't know. 
being in school, being in the hallways, like you come to LA all the time. You oh yeah, yeah. Uh, this year it was like that, but all the other years it wasn't. But this year it was because we came back from like quarantine, and like I'm like upper than I was before. Mm -hmm. So they're like, oh shit. I know there's like a lot of people like changed and random niggas was like walking up to me in school. I didn't know. At one time, um, I was walking with this girl and some like 10th grader walked up to me and he was like begging for a picture. Mm -hmm. And that was like crazy. Cause I don't even think I'm that like big, but like he was like asking for a picture. And he made me look fine because I was walking with a girl. That's the best when <laughs> No funny shit, man. <laughs> we usually do this to uh, close this out. What is your message for our generation? Um, so, like, our generation? You uh, know you watch the interviews. You know you've seen yeah. this every time, man. If you want to do something, because I hate when people say they want to do something mm -hmm. and they never, like, start doing it. Cause I have like a bunch of friends that say they want to start making YouTube videos, but they never like even like tried or attempted. Mm -hmm. So if you're going to do something, actually start doing it and work hard towards it. Cause the more you do it, the better you're going to get at it. SGP West, my boy. Thank you so much. <laughs>